Hey, how you doing? It's William Sipsy again. So, yes, I'm back out on the track and field. And today we're going to continue on our track and field story. And today we're going to do the field events. Yes. So the field events, I also used to be a long jumper and I tried the high jump. Uh, but the long jump busted my knee and the high jump a little bit difficult. <laughs> gave those up but with the field events they are split up into two types so you have the jumping events and the throwing events so the whole event program is the following so you have the high jump men and women you have the pole vault men and women you have the long jump men and women and the triple jump women men and women then the throwing events you have the uh, shot put, and then you have the discus throw, and then you have the hammer throw, and then you have the javelin throw. And which nations have dominated these sports? So, for the long jump, the United States has traditionally been dominant for both men and women. Then for the pole vault, um, it has been many countries over the years, as well as the high jump. So it's all spread out. But the uh, javelin, it's been dominated by Finland. I think they've won more than, I think three times more than all the other countries combined. In shot put, it has been uh, the United States for the men recently and New Zealand for the women. And then you have the hammer throw, which has been dominated recently by Poland uh, for both men and women. Very interesting. And then the discus has been all over. But for all of these sports and these events, I will throw up the names of uh, each event and who to look out for. Uh, so while you're watching that, I'm going to demonstrate every sport. <laughs> okay, first up will be the long jump. Next is the triple jump. I think I took a skip, but I'm supposed to skip a triple. One, two, and then plant. High jump. Then you have the pole vault. <laughs> okay, now we're we'll going through the throwing events. We've got the shot foot. Then you've got the hammer throw. All right, and then you got the discus.
right, and finally the javelin, which is the only run-up sport. So those are all the events and how they're done. Um, but if you want to see how it's really done, check it out on the Olympics starting July 30th up until August 8th. It should be a great time for all. And how many more days to go for the Olympics? 13 days to go. 13 days to go. 13, 13, 13. So 13 more days to go before the Olympics. So I hope you're getting excited. Um, as I always say, we need to mask up, wash the hands, keep the COVID-19 out of your system. Why? So we can have a safe and secure game. Okay, so I'll see you again tomorrow. All right, bye-bye.